Thanks for clicking on the video today, everybody. This is gonna be part 11 of my beginner Unreal Engine tutorial series. In this part, we are gonna be going through how to make a nighttime scene in your Unreal Engine project. This is a pretty easy thing to do, but there are some things that can be a little bit tricky just to get a handle of at first. And I, it actually did take me longer when I was learning than it should have, but I think we can just skip ahead and hopefully you won't have to spend the time that I did finding the right tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. All right, so we can get started. We're going to go to games next, as always, just make the project. First person next, tut 11, nighttime. Once that's open, I'm just gonna go up to file, new level. We're gonna call it default. You could do the time of day one, but this is, I'm just showing you how to do just a straight nighttime mode. So let's delete that. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete this atmospheric fog because I found that was causing a lot of problems when I was just going through and trying to learn this the first time. So we'll delete that. We're gonna click on the sky dome. So just click anywhere on the sky. We are going to go to directional light source. Make sure that that is selected. Colors determined by sun position. Now, most people actually have this clicked on, but I found that I was having some trouble using it. So I typically turn this off and then I can go and start changing some of the sliders. So what I found worked best was changing the sun brightness to about 1.1, the cloud speed, just make this zero, cloud opacity zero, we'll make the stars maybe a four. Once we get those set up, we can go to the sun height, but as you can see, we cannot change this because we have the directional light actor here. So light source, we can click on this. And what I like to do is just take it so that the direction is just kind of pointing up like that. Click back on this, the sun height, change this to negative 0.5, and that's good. We'll do refresh the material. And you won't see a change. However, you will start to see, well, you will see a change, but you won't see the change that we want. And so what we can do then is the horizon fall off. You can drag this up and I find you can bring it down to something about here. So you put it at like 21 or so. I think that that should be okay. Once we're here, we can start to mess around with the colors. So the sky is set up in the way that we want it to be, but the Zenith color, I like to bring down to about here so that it's still, it's still blue, but it's, it's much closer to black. I, I find that looks the most realistic. The horizon color is going to be the white floor looking area here. So if we just bring this down eh, somewhere in this area, maybe. So I think that looks eh, something, something there. It doesn't have to be perfect. The cloud color, this one is irrelevant because we turned the clouds off. As you can see, it's not really changing anything. And for the overall color, you just bring this down to about here hit okay so that is looking pretty good and obviously if you change the color you're going to be able to get the the look that you're going for so that is just something you have to play around with i found it was best kind of in this area where you're getting a little bit of blue in the sky and with the horizon fall off you can actually drag this around and you can see how it's 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 kind of I guess it's almost clamping the stars near the bottom of the horizon or just above the horizon rather. And as you can see, that's just gonna let, let you just tweak in the way that you want. The stars are pretty bright, so I think that that's working quite well. If I drop a plane in, just underneath our character. I will go to play, new editor window. And yeah, so I'm just falling. So I just need to move this, move this down a bit. That should be good. So if I hit play, now we're on this, we can look up and it does take a second just because of how we have the exposure set, but you can start to see the stars appear and we can play around with that until we find something that we like. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we will be having the other parts coming up very soon. As I mentioned, there is 
I know that there's a lot of boring parts just when you're getting started, but we will start to ramp up the fun stuff pretty soon. In the next handful of tutorials, I'm hoping to get started with the light switch, how you actually use a button to click it on and off. And that's going to get us really rolling with the blueprints. And that's when you can start to do a lot of the fun stuff for ArchFizz, which is originally what I wanted to do. And obviously we had to do all this beginner stuff, but once we get that out of the way, then we're going to go into the importing, how you get a blender or a SketchUp scene and other programs into Unreal Engine. And then we can really start to do the fun stuff. So if you found the video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up. If you have been enjoying the Unreal Engine course and you aren't already subscribed to our channel, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button and join me for future videos. As I mentioned, I have quite a few videos planned for this course and it's going to be completely free, so don't miss it. I'll see you in the next part, everybody. Have a good night.